the Ertel Heidbad Marathon likes to put a lot of emphasis on involvement and participation from the city. And we do that primarily with the volunteer pool. Uh, once again, unlike any other marathon in the country, the Ertel Heidbad Marathon has the largest volunteer pool, about 3,500 volunteers, you know, making this event go. Apart from the hard working uh, Hyderabad runners, a few hundreds of them that are, keep working for many months. So the Etal Hyderabad Marathon has an extensive pool of you know, over 3,500 volunteers engaged in uh, organizing and getting the marathon going. We will have an involvement from the city. The GHMC has uh, excited about this. The government of Telangana, and that's why you see Mr. Jayesh Ranjan here, have uh, come on board and supported uh, the Etal Hyderabad Marathon and adopted this as the marquee event for Hyderabad, at the, the marquee sporting event for the city, and rightfully so because a marathon is a city event. It's not just a running clubs event, it's not an Airtel event, it's not the IT department event, or it's a city event, and that is what we hope to finally bring it in and make sure that every citizen in Hyderabad, they know what the marathon is, and they know what the Airtel Hyderabad marathon is, and they know which, year, which day it is every year. So that is what this year we are going to try to make sure all the citizens from Hyderabad, whether it is corporates, housewives, people coming in, they know about the marathon, they come out, either they participate or they watch, if not they volunteer and get involved in some way or form the other. So for that we're trying to increase an amazing array of entertainment which is beneficial for the runners. When you're running 40 kilometers or 20 kilometers, having a whole bunch of entertainment along the route not only serves in energizing the runners, but I believe and we believe that that will also draw out the citizens to come and watch the show. And once they come and watch the show, here at 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, they see hundreds and thousands of runners running, runners who are just like them. I can guarantee you that they will probably think that they can run the same event next year. And by that, we can rest assured that the numbers of participants will also increase, if not for them to come and volunteer and do all that. So this year, our thrust is going to be on increasing a elaborate course entertainment and enhancing our volunteer, uh, you know, the spirit, getting volunteers more energized, doing more activities for the thing, for the marathon, and trying to incorporate the city, the government organizations, the GHMC, have them all have ownership in the event and make sure Hyderabad welcomes these thousands of runners that come from out of town. The Etal Hyderabad Marathon has about 34% of participants coming from out of town, out of state out of country. And that is a huge number. In India, Mumbai is the only other city that sees that many runners coming in to run the event. And all these runners coming to Hyderabad has a huge impact for the city of Hyderabad and for the government and for the state of Telangana. Because you not only have runners, you have their families coming, staying in hotels, visiting Hyderabad. They see the wonderful you know, IT section, the whole area. And then they might decide to come and join in one of the companies that Jayesh is uh, you know, organizing and all that. So this is what we hope, and this is what the marathon does, is it brings in other people into Hyderabad who have come for the run, but they see a lot more. And that is where, whether it is businesses in Hyderabad, or whether it is the tourism in Hyderabad, will all benefit from the Air to Hyderabad Marathon. And that's why we like everyone, including the media, because this is our city, this is your city, and you projecting the stories as a Hyderabad event will only draw more people to that. And that's why, that is our whole trust into getting that. Runner safety is our big priority, and we have had that covered with the care hospital, our entertainment and the volunteers, and above all, the, the Hyderabad runners have, from experiences of running so many marathons all over the world, we have come up with a fine thing of organizing the marathon in the international standards with all amenities for runners, and we go above that. And that is why, when you look at the runner feedback, Everyone talks about how amazing the Hyderabad, Etal Hyderabad Marathon is. And no other event gets such feedback where we have 99% of participants saying that they come back for the run this year. So that's a huge achievement for all the you know, hardworking uh, volunteers and organizers for the Etal Hyderabad Marathon and all the Hyderabad runners who will struggle for the past you know, few months up till the marathon, you know, busting their chops. They all have other day jobs that they do, and everybody does this on a volunteer thing, which is a huge spirit that comes up for the event. And we thank the government, we thank all our sponsors, Airtel, every other uh, sponsor and partner that is making this possible for us, 
for us running enthusiasts, making this possible for the city. So once again, thank you all, and we look forward to having an amazing event on the last weekend in August, and we will uh, keep you posted about everything else. And once again, this year, we look forward to having about 20,000 people involved in the event, whether it is runners, whether it is volunteers, police, government officials, and the core organizers. So that's our spirit for the marathon this year. Thank you.